Welcome to ITSP Technologies. My name is Vivek. I'm your Ikalota trainer, can say. We can say. So, today on birds, we are going to learn AWS. Okay. AWS. Why? Because I am more focus, focusing on DevOps engineering. Okay. That's why I am taking a different, different tools like AWS, Kubernetes, Docker, and as well as the Spring Boot and Core Java, some topics also I am covering. So now this is the total new series. I will upload like 60 to 65 sessions. I will take to complete AWS sessions, AWS series. So there we will learn all these things related to AWS. Okay, like that much label we can like solution architect level uh, we will we are going to learn. So learn AWS with me. Okay, so if you are watching first time this video or you are visiting first time my channel, so please share with your friends with your. Uh, those people who want to learn the technology as a free okay so we can refer these videos so to and uh, we are uh, there is no prerequisite to learn aws it's a totally uh, cloud computing uh, things like okay so some miss and uh, misconception about cloud computing here so cloud just i'm clearing about that cloud computing not starting the session just i'm giving a overview about the cloud computing what is that cloud computing means uh, that person are providing all those things on the cloud uh, suppose you want a one machine right ec2 machine with that some specification ram and cpus so you can just request to the aws give your specification that aws people will prepare like aws people not a people uh, like aws will prepare a machine for you just use it that machine with that you are given a specification so this is the meaning of cloud computing means you are not required to put a hardware like data center in your own so you just take a virtual hard virtual machine from uh, from the cloud okay so that means the cloud computing is access this is the cloud computing okay so so cloud computing okay so total we, we are going to learn okay in this sessions like today's session we are going to start a basic part basic part in the sense what is the architecture and why the architecture and okay what is the client server architecture first we need to understand client server architecture this is the basic things i will cover in the last two to five videos okay after that we are going to start some other sessions okay let's start uh, today's sessions so let's move on welcome to again so karte hain maje bhai aws padhte hain ओके इंग्लिश और हिंदी दोनों शो मजे लेके पढ़ो यार इसमें बहुत सी सर्विसेज हैं भाई ये डब्ल्यू एस इधर टोटली इज टू मच टू मच क्लाउड है यार बहुत ऑसम क्लाउड है और सबसे बड़ी बात है ये इतना पॉपुलर लास्ट कुछ हालों में हो गया लास्ट इयर्स में और नाउ डेज नेटफ्लिक्स and nasa also are using aws cloud platforms and netflix streaming platform are using aws cloud okay for hosting their applications they having vast of services okay here we mention only six services i took uh, this uh, image from the internet here for your reference purpose okay so लेट्स स्टार्ट करते हैं एक नई सीरीज का आगाज सो बिलीव ऑन माय बर्ड्स आई विल कंप्लीट द सीरीज डोंट वरी ए टू जेड आई विल कंप्लीट दैट ओके एट द सेंड ओके यू कैन जस्ट यू शेयर योर वीडियोस विद योर फ्रेंड्स ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द आर्किटेक्चर सर क्लाइंट सर्वर आर्किटेक्चर 
so in the kubernetes session the first session in the kubernetes i have told you what is that client server architecture what is the client and what is the server suppose you are opening a browser okay so you are uh, you are just opening the browser right this is the browser no? google chrome browser is there and you are hitting some website like aws suppose that aws you can say like suppose i want to java download okay download image or whatever like that we send a request right mm -hmm. this is the browser suppose this is the browser okay browser right so this is the browser suppose that and uh, this is client suppose this is the client okay this is the server server you send the request suppose i am just hitting this na in the browser what is that java docker images right i am hitting then browser send the request to where in the server 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 will prepare one response they are giving this response this response and this response then server give the response to your browser like that like that okay we just click on this okay we just click on this image again they will hitting to the server again they are hitting where is my pen okay where is pen 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 here okay so now again 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 they hit that particular website particular endpoint okay browser hit that endpoint for the client the client purpose right client and go to the server where this website where this resource is available in the somewhere server this resource is available this page is available okay that page responds to that browser responds to the client or browser so it means client is nothing but browser just for understanding purpose okay i will give the real example don't worry remove all these things so i think understood what is that uh, client and what is the server all these things okay so perfect come here so this is that uh, about uh, client server architectures so now come our first part first ppt so aws session 1 this is the total introduction part about uh, client server architectures and about the aws aws introduction is go and check that about uh, the about when the aws is launched okay so now the client is here i am giving some real time kind of definitions okay so what is that uh, here you can see if you are able to see my thing got it client the client refers to the application or software what is that client is refer application or software running on user's device theek hai jaise ye meri machine hai bhai ye meri machine hai theek hai application maan lo ya software maan lo browser kya hai software hai ye browser hai browser theek hai ye kahan run ho raha hai meri machine pe the user's device ye device hai theek hai the user's device my user such as pc console or mobile kahin pe bhi abhi kahan run ho raha hai ye mera abhi ye run ho raha hai mere computer system laptop device in the context of online gaming suppose i am giving a in the context of online gaming main de raha hu online gaming ka example theek hai the client is in the game software that play as use the interact with the game worlds 
ओके जैसे ये ब्राउजर है तो ब्राउजर में वो चाह रहा है पबजी खेलना सपोज मान लो पबजी दॉपुलर गेम आई डिड नॉट आई डिड नॉट लाइक सी अ पबजी लाइक प्रेस आई डोंट नो वट इज दबजी जस्ट आई हार्ड अबाउट द पबजी गेम आई नेवर आई एम ऑल्सो आई एम नॉट लाइक टू प्ले इंडोर गेम आई लाइक टू प्ले आउटडोर गेम लाइक क्रिकेट बॉल फुटबॉल वट एवर वट एवर गेम आई कैन प्ले ओके बट आई डोंट लाइक प्ले इंडोर गेम इन दिस्टम इन द फोन वाई बिकॉज आई एम नॉट दैट मच एक्सपर्ट इन द प्लेइंग अ गेम पीपल आर प्लेइंग इट्स फाइन so now that's why i had taken this example people can uh, relate this easily okay so now this is the browser and here is the game okay the browser you are trying to hitting pubg okay then server the server is a remote computer right where this is the server suppose this is the server server you can say a remote computer here we am saying remote c computer cpi i can write it remote computer system that hosts the game environment and manages the game state okay to kya bol raha hai yahan pe humne ek game environment ka setup host kar rakha hai host host hosted game hosted game theek hai hosted game the server is a responsible for take such tracking player positions processing player actions to so, kya karega game client ka koi role nahi hai in sab mein client just send the request to the server server ka sab karega tracking a player position processing a player actions manage the game rules and maintaining the overall game state also ये सारे ऑप्शन कौन परफॉर्म करेगा ये सारे ऑप्शन कौन यूज करेगा ये सारे ऑप्शन करेगा अपना सर्वर सर्वर विल टेक केयर ऑफ ऑल दिस थिंग्स ओके आपको कुछ नहीं करना है एज ए क्लाइंट एज ए क्लाइंट यू जस्ट रिक्वेस्ट टू द सर्वर दैट्स इट जो पबजी खेलते हैं उन्हें पता है कि अंदर क्या हो रहा है उन्हें कुछ नहीं पता है दे आर they are thinking i am a super i am just killing a that that person they don't know what is the happening behind this but we know what is the happening behind this okay we are processing the player action how we build that because we are developer we are engineer that's why they are just playing that game so hello listen they just playing and uh, do some that much of effort like they are thinking i am super i am like that i am playing so expert so this so like that but think about it that people those are developing this type of application this type of game pubg kind of thing how much effort they are putting on this particular things right so that's why aws provides this kind of thing this kind of structures okay so come back to servers point of view so server is uh, take care all this thing like processing player position like uh, in the real time examples i am giving when well, call suppose you host one game okay you host one pubg game then pubg game in third the server down time if your game is slow who is the responsible for that server server side you can maintain that okay uh, like managing a rules what is the rules for your game uh, like uh, suppose if this is the pubg game rules something happen like uh, taking us some so much guns all these things like blah blah kind of thing and then the overall game states what are the states of the games like first state second state third state fourth state like that so i think it's clear to you okay so now the uh, types of client server architectures so we have a four like mainly have um, a number of things but mainly i found it uh, four in this four we have only useful two or three and uh, i will combine the fourth inside the three okay how i will tell you don't worry so here you can see the one tier application one tier application 
वन टीयर एप्लीकेशन टू टीयर एप्लीकेशन थ्री टीयर एप्लीकेशन एंड टीयर एप्लीकेशन सो कम आउट इन दन टीयर एप्लीकेशन ओके सो वन टीयर एप्लीकेशन वट इज दट this is that uh, just i am writing one page then i will explain one tier application to you yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. suppose this is our one tier <clears throat> Frontier application. This is frontier architecture. like one tier architect we have okay so inside the one tier architect inside the one tier architect we have uh, like what that we have anyone know about that one tier architecture inside the one tier architecture guys we have first is the hardware first we have the hardware inside the architect we have a uh, we have architecture uh, we have hardware and the hardware second thing we have operating system then your application okay i will write that so here you can write this is the hardware hardware and hardware duplicate this this is os operating system we have because without operating system you cannot do anything in your application as so anywhere you can you cannot do anything so uh, the, in the one tier application all these things combine in the one tier like this is also a client this is also a server client and server both are only these things how 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 only one thing can uh, perform a both roles because here you can see well because in the hosted we have a web app or like app we hosted hosted in a local local host local host if you what the hell are man okay in the local in the hosted in local local host hosting host in local host machine so when you try to access that thing you need to pass a local host by using this theek yeah. hai तो यूजर कैन एक्सेस दैट ओके समझ आया टेल मी टेल मी इफ यू एनी डाउट अबाउट दिस I am not a making video like that, dear. Just at thirty twenty minutes, okay. I am just preparing a very good for you. So it's okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Host in a local host, like it's local host, okay. Your you are running application in the local host. So while using local host, you should hit your request using a local host. Then your server will respond as a server. you can act as a client also you can act as a server also in the spring boot application we pass a local host okay so we are also we are only we are only using our local host and 
we are using a, a we are only a client we are only a server while you can see that so this is the <clears throat> one tier architecture so now this is totally outdated no one is using that in the real time <clears throat> okay why because this is not recommended only okay so two tier architecture come back this is that important two tier architectures so two tier architecture guys what is that uh, also known as the client server architecture this is the part this model consists of two layers what is that layers is consisting two layers i am just parallelly making that layers also okay this is the two layers two layers we have perfect mm -hmm. okay so now two layers we have two layers we tied now we prepare two layers the client layer and the server layer this is that like client layer layer this is the server layer layer right client layer the client layer typically include the user interface user interface like client this is the client like you know user interface like browser you can say browser or like some gaming like gaming pubg kind of thing we have presentation the this layer is containing that uh, presentation logic while server layer is handling data storage here in the server <clears throat> in the server we have a uh, what is that uh, we have two more things like hardware duplicate this and uh, os hardware we have a hardware hardware and operating system thing system right in that the hardware and operating system we have in the <clears throat> two tier architecture first one the client second one the server here while layer handling the data handling the database data database okay we have a database and our application also application also like java application any like java application or like dot net application any application we have in that and that application interact with your database so this is okay so multiple clients are there guys suppose this is one client if i can show that uh, wait wait not this okay Okay. one client two three client we have right three client making a request to that uh, server to that server layer so this is the client i would say where is my pain okay client 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 then this client send request to the server this also sent to the request to the server this is nothing but a server aapke aap kya hoga server kya karega server request de dega response as a response isko response de dega isko response de dega theek hai ye hai client server architecture but but remember one thing this is not a recommended way security this is the public right we need a public why because we need a public then we can use this uh, what i can say use this access this application access this application and outside of that okay
तो दिस इज नॉट अ रिकमेंडेड वे टू डू लाइक दैट टू टेयर अप्लीकेशन टू टेयर अप्लीकेशन बट सम लेगेसी लेगेस आर देयर सो दैट आर यूजिंग दैट आर स्टिल यूजिंग टू टेयर आर्किटेक्चर्स ओके so now some drawback while we are using while we are using two tier up two tier architecture some problem we are facing some problem what is that problem is facing sometime more request is coming from the multiple clients multiple clients like 1000 10000 1 million then application will cross crash application will crash number the down time will like slow down slow down slow down it will it will slow down definitely it will slow down number 4 number 3 number 3 down time will increase down time down time because only your application and database is existing in the same layers okay and also security reasons security 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 Why? Well, because it's the public. If it it is public, then anyone can uh, attack for this server. Attack your server, hacker. Hacker can attack your server. Okay, that's why. It's uh, and security is not good. So we crash our applications and uh, like that. So this is not recommended to use. Okay. Now next is. <clears throat> next is three tier architecture in this three tier ar architectures also we can see entire architecture here only so now let's go this what is that we have a three tier architecture we need to prepare one layer what is that layer we can say okay This is the another. Okay, and this is uh, uh -huh. client we have multiple client we have. Okay, multiple client we have. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. so this is pe thoda sa chhota karte hain isko isi mein main aapko dikha dunga kamera the tire ka theek hai hmm. to ye kya ho gaya ek server uh, ch -ch -ch ye ho gaya client layer okay or we can say what is that presentation also you can say but right now we are saying client layer layer this is application layer application layer theek hai aur ye hai database layer database layer theek hai और वी कैन से ऑल्सो सर्वर दिस इज अप्लीकेशन सर्वर अप्लीकेशन सर्वर सर्वर ठीक है और इसे बोलेंगे कौन सा सर्वर डेटाबेस सर्वर डीबी सर्वर ऑल्सो वी कैन से डीबी सर्वर और डेटाबेस सर्वर वी कैन से ठीक है तो इसमें वही अपनी चीजें होंगी सारी हर एक सर्वर में फर्स्ट हार्डवेयर वी रिक्वायर्ड ठीक है एंड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वी रिक्वायर्ड क्या क्या रिक्वायर्ड हार्डवेयर हार्डवेयर एंड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम हार्डवेयर एंड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वी रिक्वायर्ड एंड इनसाइड दिस इनसाइड दिस ओनली रनिंग इट व्हाट दैट अप एप योर एप using java or dot net or python 
Python. Like that, this application is running. And same thing will happen here. What is that? Same thing here, we need a hardware. Okay, we need a hardware and OS. We need a hardware and OS. Hardware. There and OS. OS means is there also. OS means operating system we need. Yeah. OS and here is running our database. Database install database. Install our database like Postgres. Postgres, MySQL, and Oracle. Any database you can install. Like. So these three layers we have in our application here we can say in this model the client layer and application layer and data layer like that we have data we can say data layer not database layer right okay data layer are separated into a distinct tires this is a distinct tier, no? different different the client layer interact with that user interface the application layer handles the business logic like that and application processing and data layer managing the store the ret and retrieval the architecture is com com commonly used in web application and enterprise application where this we are using yeah commonly used in that there right perfect so now now, 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 this is the point, guys. This is the foundation. Listen. So now this client make it request to the server. This, this also make it server. This also, and this client make it request to this application layer, application server. Then application server is interact with the your, what is that? Uh, database server, database server. Then how to, how to interact, uh, two devices in the same network by using IP by using IP address we can communicate with each other by using IP address it's communicating each other like so application server we have some uh, points okay I will discuss with you points there don't worry right so this is the two three tire architectures right Client is interacting to that application server. Application server is interact to the database servers. So here is, what is that? <clears throat> what is that? If this is the public, if this is the public, then you can access directly, right? Then you can access directly. But, but if this is a public, if this is a public, then security will not achieve hacker will attack on the your applications so we need as a private 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 this is also private we need to make it as a private we need to make it as a private private then what is that meaning how to access private application layer and uh, private uh, uh, data access layer okay so so we need one concept called we need one concept called uh -huh, not this i think so this we need one concept called we need one concept called nothing what that web server what is that web server web server okay web server then by using web server web server client send a request to the web server web server redirect your request to the 
application server right this web server are having only config config file related to your application layer application server right and this make as a, make it as a public public so we can say this is the total architecture no 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 this is the entire architecture like that here you can see this is the extension of the three tier architecture this what is that meaning here you can see extension of three tier architecture right where additional tier can be added we added one additional tier what is the we additional v tier we use is web server tier we added right the scalability and flexibility why we added because of security we achieve we need a security and make it as a more flexible for that is there the responsible to different level of structure with the each they are responsible for the specific uh, functionality this architecture allows the greater uh, greatest uh, flexibility and scalability right right now our application is the secured and when we use a three tier architectures three tier architecture then uh, the load time and scalability downtime all these things are resolved like mean advantage is mean advantage is uh, like it is speed up your application speed is not slow like that what is my point guys so now we have some points i need to write it okay add one page so we need a one what is that okay first we have a client what is what it client right we have what is that client and you know that client is nothing but us uh, make it as a request to the resource right here we can write client make make request to the resource so the spelling is right i think resource i think what is that the spelling about the resource Let me let me R E O R E U O U S E resource. Okay. So now make it a request to the resource. Now second point we have. What is that we have? Next is uh, client is completed. Web server we have. What is that web server? So uh, that web server, web server. What is that web server, guys? Web server take the request, take the request, request from client, from client, and redirect, direct to, redirect to the what is that? Where we redirect? redirect to that application server that's it okay now next we have next we have application server what is that application server now come down here next we have application server server okay right application server we have so as you know what is that responsibility of the application server what is that responsibility so the application the application application server server where where we hosted hosted our application 
So what is that application server where we hosted our application now? Sir, one data layer, database server. server. What is the database server? The <clears throat> database server. What is that? The database server install install the database database install the database install the database or or we can say or store the data store the store the data right uh, next is important ip is there what is that ip so here communication device to device communication we have okay so device communi communication by using here the note point i am just giving note note communication communication what is that uh, device communication communication device communication each other device communication each other using ip what is that device communication is using by using ip device communication so now question is rise what is ip so ip is internet protocol net protocol protocol okay uh, so what is that it is it is unique unique it is unique identification unique identification for device for device it is the unique identification for device device in the network right ip is completed what is that host name host name host name we have a host name is the your uh, name of the server name of the server anyone ask what is the host name so you can say name of the server what is that your server name database server application server right this is the host name now next Now we complete it, right? These many points we mentioned. No? So one note point also I am just giving. What is that for that uh, note? Okay. Mm -hmm. Application. Application should always should always kept as a private private for security security like that so now we complete this architecture guys so this is the three tire name this is the entire architecture we can say so now we learned about the architectures okay so next we we we, we are going to start some others topic so up to that you can revise this things if you want this notes so check our uh what is that uh facebook group fb okay inside the fb okay inside the fb in the page is there i trick study park itsp technology just send me the request here you can get the notes okay by me itself i am updating okay so thank you guys we will meet in the next sessions 
and another beautiful concept so we completed tire client service server architecture we completed and next session we will i will talk another topic so thank you we will meet next video